Ah, hi. Looks like it's time for another Christ Kids. I'm so thankful you're here too. That's why I think you're... Ow! <clears throat> uh, number one. Since you're that important, you deserve to be treated like number one. And that's how Jesus treated everybody, even if other people didn't think so. Since Jesus cared for everyone, we'll see in today's Gospel that a man who was not liked by others was cured from a disease. Before we begin, the man who Jesus healed had a disease called leprosy. People back then thought it was contagious, and that's why nobody would even get near him. But that didn't stop Jesus, so let's hear what happens. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus, begging, and said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, and said to him, I will, be clean. And immediately, the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. Jesus sent him away at once, but first said, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, for a proof to the people. But he went out and began to spread the news. Jesus could no longer enter a town, but was out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus went off to places and did a lot of things back then that others wouldn't dare to. For example, he talked with and cured a man with leprosy, which is a skin disease. We now know that leprosy is not contagious. Doctors know how to cure it, and these days it's called Hansen's disease. Jesus treated this man and everybody he came across with respect, or like their number one, the best. That's because the man in the gospel, you, me, and everybody in the world, was made in the image of God. God knew us before we were even born, and is responsible for giving us the ability to love and care for others, among other things. Hmm. So if God created us all, that means that we're part of one large human family. And how do you think you should treat others in your family? With love and respect. So, we should treat everybody we see like Jesus did. With love and respect. Well, that does it for us today. I'm Stanley. See you next time. Bye.